And now, welcome, welcome to your top five NFL picks with your host, me, Rio De Niro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to week 10, top five NFL picks. I'm Rio De Niro. I'm going solo this week, and it's Sunday morning, so that means, man, I got to scramble to hurry up and get these picks in before the day starts. So, been busy week, real busy week. I didn't get to pick the Thursday night game, but I'm pretty sure I would have lost. Titans versus Colts, I would have picked the Titans. And um, the Colts pulled it off. I was real shocked. But, hey, I'm not on the record because I didn't get to pick the game. So, I'm clear. So, but anyway, this week we're going to go through the top five NFL picks. But before we go through the top five NFL picks, um, I'm going to go through a little bit of what happened last week. Last week I had A1, a.k.a. Hot Pick'em. I call him Not Pick'em. And let's go through the picks from last week. So last week, we had um, A1's number five pick was Washington versus the Giants, and he picked Washington. And, of course, the Giants won, and um, he took that L. Um, Saints versus Bucks was his fourth pick, and he took the Saints, and he pulled that off. I, I picked the Bucks last week on the overall general, and um, he got me on that, but... It wasn't in my top five. Next, we got uh, the Raiders versus the Chargers. Raiders won. Nail biter. You know, good job. And they went ahead and um, so he got that one at number three pick. So then uh, he picked cards over the Dolphins. Yeah, Tua got him. Mm -mm -mm. Next, uh, so that was an L. Next, he picked the Ravens over Colts. That was his number one pick. I think that was everybody's number one pick. And he got that uh, He got that win. All right? Now, we go over to my picks. We got um, my number one pick. No, I'm sorry. My number five pick was the Raiders versus the Chargers. That was also my two-piece of the biscuit play of the week. And we got, I picked the Raiders and the over. They both covered. Loved it. Yeah, I hope you I hope you came through and picked with me. Did you make some money with me this week? Yeah, that was a win. Seahawks versus the Bills for my number four pick. I didn't know what happened to Russ. Russ was not cooking last week. And um, Seahawks took that, that L, and I did too. Packers versus the Niners. That was easy. That was the Thursday night game. Um, Packers took care of business. They beat my Niners. I'm sorry, but I had to pick with my pocket not with my heart and uh i got that win steelers versus cowboys mm -mm -mm -mm. what happened steelers you couldn't handle the cowboys all right anyway i took the steelers they didn't cover they won but they didn't cover so i took that out um next ravens versus the colts Number one pick on everybody's list. All right, this was Christmas for real. So, what was the record? What was our record for week nine? Week nine, so our record was yes, Rio was three and two. Yes, and A1 was two and three. That's right, not pick em. Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row, I went ahead and got to Hundo. That's how we do over here. That's how we do it, man. Like, roll with me. Roll with me. This is Rio De Niro. There's a reason why the name go like that. Week 9 and week 8, I took care of business. Roll with your boy. Mess with me, DJ. It's time for them top 5 NFL picks. Yeah. We're about to do that. All right. So, what we got? What we got? What we got? Um... Oh, the number five pick. Number five pick. All right. Number five pick is in. And we are going with Broncos versus the Raiders. Broncos versus the Raiders is, uh, they, they got the Raiders favored by three and a half. Now, and uh, over and under is 50. 50 and a half. Now, for me, 
I know it's a division game and all that, but I love the way Derek Carr is playing right now. I'm all over that. Um, Locke is cool, whatever, but at the end of the day, the Raiders offense is going to take care of business, but I will buy down the point. I'm not going to stick with the three and a half. I need the minus three. Vegas loves to F you with that my, that, that point three. All right? I'm not taking that point five, I should say. They love effing you with that point five. So I'm, I want it to be minus three. Buying down the point to allow me to get a tie if it just comes down to a field goal. I'm not getting screwed. But so number five pick, take the Raiders. If you have the opportunity, buy down the point to make it minus three instead of that minus three and a half. All right. All right. Uh, what we got next? What we got next? Um, oh, number four pick. All right. Number four. Bengals versus the Steelers. All right. The two five and one Bengals versus the eight and zero oh Steelers. Yeah. Minus seven for the Steelers. This is a division game once again. Um, should I be scared? Nah, I'm not scared. I'm just not scared. Minus seven, I like it. I think the Steelers are going to cover. And um, I like that over, that 46. So um, I like the over so much that my number four pick is actually going to be the over. So it's over 46. Go with the over on this game, okay? Just pick the Steelers over, all right? Over 46. Over 46 is my number four pick. It's the over 46. I like that because I can see the Bengals scoring. All right. Burroughs taking care of business. I can see them scoring. And, of course, Big Ben is, you know, he has the best receiving core he's ever had in his career with the Steelers. I mean, he's only been with the Steelers. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with that, man. Over 46. Let's do it. All right. Lock that in my number four pick. Look at that. I ain't even locking the pick. I can't lock in the pick, right? Can we lock it in? We're just going to lock it in anyway. We're just going to say we lock. we're going to lock it in without even boom, having a little Steelers graphic and everything. And the other pick was locked in too. All right. That's how we, that's what, how we do in Sunday morning when we're trying to hurry up. We can't get together all the graphics. We give you some graphics. So just, just roll with it. All right. So anyway, where are we at? Where are we at? So we're at um, we're at number three. Oh, okay, number three. Hey, look at what we have here: 49ers versus the Saints. 49ers versus the Saints. My Niners versus the Saints. You already know what I'm about to do. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm going with the Saints. That's my Niners. My Niners are hurt. It's okay. I want them to keep losing. We want a high draft pick as high as we can get right now. Let go of the season. Too many injuries. Just let it go. I'm good with that. I'm a Warriors fan too in basketball. And I was cool with last year. Just lose so we could get the top pick. We got number two pick, so that's going to benefit us. Now the Warriors this year are going to kill. So the Niners, hmm, go ahead and let the season go. Get as high as a draft pick as you can, all right? Because there's rumors that we might not be keeping Jimmy G. And if that's the case, I just want to see what we could do, all right? So back to this. 49ers versus Saints. Saints all day is minus nine and a half. They're going to win by at least 14. Seriously, they're going to win by like 14. So take that. For my number three pick, take 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 the Saints, man. Take the Saints. I mean, if they could beat the Bucks the way they did last week, because Michael Thomas is back, you know they're going to take care of the Niners. I mean, that's what it is. I love you, Niners. Bet with my pocket, not with my heart. We're going with the um we're going with the Saints. We're going with the Saints. Alright, what we got? Number two? Is it number two yet? 
Oh yeah, it's number two. Number two. Number two. All right, number two, number two, number two, number two. Where's my number two? Oh, number two. This is a crazy number two. I'll tell you why in a second. Seahawks versus the Rams at the Rams, okay? This is the six and two Seahawks versus the five and three Rams. Now look, I know it's a division game, but Russ lost last week against the Bills. He needs this win. It's an important division game, very important. This is going to be big for the playoffs. All right. Seating. It's big. So they need this game. Seahawks. I see the Seahawks winning. This game is minus two and a half. I'm taking the Seahawks. The over and under is 55. I like the over. So if I like the over and I like the Seahawks, that must mean this is the Ooh. That's the two piece in the biscuit play. This the two piece in the biscuit play of the week. You know what that means. You know what that means. That means you're gonna take you gonna you're gonna take the Seahawks for that minus two and a half. Then you're gonna take that over straight as well for 55. Alright, over 55. Then you're gonna put them together in a box, a two piece, and then you're gonna put the biscuit on it and you're gonna parlay that sucker. Go ahead, two piece and a biscuit, play it a week. That's what I'm saying. You heard what I said, two piece and a biscuit. You got that? Locked in. That's that's cool when you when your number two pick is your two piece in a biscuit play of the week. I mean, I love that, man. Huh? I mean, you can't get any better than that. All right. So if we did number two, then that means we need the the number one pick. The number one pick. What can the number one pick be? Well, last week the number one pick was a. To me, it was like a super lockdown. Like that was your put your house up, but I didn't say that. But I did put a lot. Um, that was a big play last week, and that featured the Ravens. Um, this week, it's going to feature the Ravens again. Yes, the Ravens versus the Patriots, minus seven. Take the Ravens. They're going to smash the Patriots. Patriots ain't got a chance. I'm telling you, they almost lost to the Jets. They actually wanted to lose to the Jets. I really feel that way. Um, but somehow, Cam wasn't on the same page. He was like, oh, I need to get a win. But you you know that the Patriots need draft picks. You think the Patriots are going to win this game? If You just think about this. The Patriots win this game. What What's their goal? Are they trying to get into the playoffs? Or they're just trying to get a mediocre record that's so mediocre they don't get to the playoffs. But it's just good enough, like an 8-8 eight eight or something. And then what happens then? You don't get the high draft picks. Come on. You know what to do. You're going to lose this game. Ravens, all day long. Come on. Take the Ravens. Minus 7. Lock that in. I'm serious. Like, why, do, why are we even talking about and plus, that's a Sunday night game. Is it a Sunday night game? I think it is a Sunday night game. Hey man, just all I know is just, just just lock that lock that puppy in. Lock him in. I like it. I like it. And, and it's a and it's a Sunday night game. Yeah, that's a Sunday night pick. Alright? That's you getting all that. You getting all that. Make your money. Alright? I need you to go ahead. Take care of business. Happy wagering. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. You know what? While when I'm making them picks and you like them picks, subscribe. Subscribe. If I made you some money, subscribe. All right? If you agree with anything that's going on here, subscribe. And hit the like button. Share this if you want to. Share this, please. And guess what? And while you're here, if you see a couple ads pop up, anyway, have a good one. Happy wagering. 
and I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching Top 5 NFL Picks with your boy, Rio De Niro. All right, I'm out.